Hey guys, Kiki Cannon here, and today I wanted to talk to you about resin printing with the Ligu Mars. This printer was recommended to me, and it's my first resin printer. I've had it for about six months now. It's super easy to use, and all the items come out extremely smooth with very minimal cleanup. It's great for various cosplay accessories I've made, and also stuff for my shop. Be sure to check out some cosplay items I make in my shop. I am Canon Studios on Etsy. All these files were 3D modeled in Blender, but you can use whatever program you're comfortable with. The printer comes with its own slicing software, so just load your 3D file into the program. Once your file is done, load it onto a flash drive, which you will plug into the printer. First, you're going to level your printer. After it's leveled, slide the tray back in and screw it in. Make sure that it's in place. Once everything is ready to go, go ahead and plug in your flash drive to load your file. For safety equipment, you will need goggles, a respirator, and gloves when working with uncured resin. Any UV curing resin should work. I started to use ABS resin more because it's a bit more rigid. Slowly pour the resin until it reaches the line. Then find your file in the directory. Once you find your file, press start. It will give you an estimated time in a percentage bar until your print is done. Once your print is done and it has dripped the excess off, carefully scrape it off into the cleaner. I am using an ultrasonic cleaner with Mean Green cleaning solution. I'll list all the links for everything I'm using below. Not sure how I managed to do that, but it should have been worth 10 points. <laughs> After you have it in the cleaner, go ahead and start it until it's done, shaking off all the excess. And now we're going to toss it into a container with water to get all the cleaner off of the piece. Fresh off the printer, the piece looks super smooth with minimal to no cleanup. The piece will cure with UV light. I have a box with tin foil to help cure my pieces. I also use a solar powered turntable to spin my piece around for even curing. I also stream on Twitch, so feel free to come over and hang out. Now that the piece is done, we can remove all the supports. All the supports are super easy to remove. I might use snips or an X-Acto knife if I'm struggling, but generally I don't need them. And here are the finished pieces. I went ahead and assembled them and painted them silver. I'm still working on getting my gems ready to glue into the brooch, but other than that, my pieces are complete. I hope this video has helped you. Feel free to hit the like button. Also subscribe for more cosplay content. Once you're done printing, you can take the remaining resin and put it back into your container. 